Thank you. Open the meeting to the public at this time. Anybody that wishes to address the board, they do so. Now, Matt, I was just pointing. I just had two questions that I wanted to ask the board, uh, unrelated to each other, but concerning uh, budgetary items. About three years ago, I asked the board about the status of the staffing in the water plant. And my question was, we used to run with, we had the old water tower with 500,000 gallons of water. We ran it with no midnight <coughs> shift. And then a couple of years, and we did it successfully for three or four years, and then after I got off, somewhere along the line, the midnight shift was reestablished, which I understand was as a request of the former police chief. Now we have a million and a half gallon water tower, three times the capacity, and the usage is down. And I would like to know if the village would do a study or do something to see if they could eliminate up to two shifts a day and just run a day shift, maybe a long day shift like with overlapping, but like maybe seven in the morning until four or five at night and that's it. If you did that, you would save by eliminating the four to 12 shift and the, and the midnight to eight shift, you'd save 14 shifts a week plus the associated overtime and sick leave and annual leave, which is three positions. I'm not advocating that anybody gets fired or laid off, but I think redistributed <coughs> to the village uh, personnel things where they could find it. But the reason I'm saying this is because if you could eliminate three shifts from the water plant, fill the tank up at 5 o'clock, let it run by <coughs> gravity feed all night long. If there's a fire, have somebody on call to turn the pumps on and stuff. Uh, you could save probably between $100,000 and $150,000 a year between the salaries and the, the associated benefits and everything. Now that money could go towards paying off the debt on the water tower. Now you might not be able to pay the debt off early, I don't know how it was bonded, but you can set that money aside and here's the reason now. If something happens with Wyeth up there, and I use that term, I'd rather use Eris because that's the last time it was good, but anyway. How about Pfizer? You know, Anyways, if they're paying about half of that bond payment, it's my understanding, because they use about half the water. If they stop using that water usage, and the same in the sewer plant, who's going to make their half of the bond payment? The rest of the rate payers. And our rates could increase dramatically. So if you start trying to save money now in that department, you can offset future losses in revenue. And I think it's very important. And if this would have been taken up three years ago, you would have had three to four hundred thousand dollars set aside towards that $3 million loan to pay off. So I, I would appreciate it if the board would consider this, look into it, and see if it's feasible. And the other issue that I asked is, I would like to know, is it true that the, the three-man village police department has five police cars now? True. Is there a reason why we can't get rid of two or three of them? We only ever had two for years. And then we started getting these free ones, and we're They're all free. <laughs> yeah, but they, you still got to insure them and put lights and sirens and repairs on them and everything else. The last one we got came from Homeland Security. It was completely equipped except for radio. Okay, but what about the last two? You bought it. You just bought a Crown Vic this summer. We had to replace one. We got rid of. Right, the 98 that hadn't been on the road in five years. I mean, you know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you got a point there. I mean, I know you're getting them for nothing, but they're not costing you nothing to keep them like that Durango. You know, you got that for free on asset sharing, but then they put $5,800 in radios and sirens in it, and then the $2,000 transmission. No radio, no radio or siren in that car whatsoever. There isn't any? No, and it's licensed so that we can use it for trips. Okay, well, it's still low, then move it out of the police department, but I don't know, it just seems with a two-man, two-and-a-half-man department, they're kind of heavy on transportation there. I absolutely agree with you. I mean, when we had five or six, we only had two cars. I'd rather have two brand-new cars all the time that's totally reliable and safe than a whole bunch of different varieties of age and safety-wise. That's all that I ask. Yeah, I'll check in that water thing, because I'm in charge of water. I mean, I think it's pretty significant, and it's pretty serious. Thank you, Tom. Anybody else at this time? Jerry Favreau. Um, we had a planning board meeting. We'd like to schedule a special meeting on the 4th of January at 6 o'clock upstairs in the village office. Can we use that room? Sure. Okay, and it's, it'll be a, a meeting that's open 
to the public, so how will they get access? Anybody that comes, like, at 6? Just leave the front door unlocked. Leave the front door unlocked? We'll put a note on it? Yeah, they can see them come in the front door and go right up the stairs. And oh. the, other two, the other doors are locked, so they can't get in there anyway. Okay. Jerry, you may also just uh, advise the board about changing our regular meeting night. Oh, yes, we're going, uh, what did we say we were going to do? I had it written the fourth in the Monday. Fourth, Monday. The fourth Monday at 7 o'clock. That won't conflict with our, that's better that way. We think it's not going to conflict but with anybody. Did you say that was 6 o'clock, Jerry? Yes, on the 4th. Fourth of January? Yeah. January 4th is at 6? We have a board meeting at 7 o'clock. here. No, it's going to be up there. I know, I know. Yeah. Okay. Mm. That's just a training meeting for us, basically. Yeah, our regular meeting is going to uh, the fourth Monday. At the same that, time. That doesn't have to come. Yeah. Seven. 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 Yeah. I don't believe that has to be approved by the board. It's your, up to your call, and you just have to advertise it. No, well, we wanted to tell you for use as a meeting room. It's a board meeting room. Yeah. yeah that's we just got permission to use the meeting room on those nights, so you know. It's not used, so. Anybody else? Go ahead, Harry. Uh, I just have a couple items. Uh, since the uh, month and a half ago when I was here, uh, <coughs> As you probably know, uh, the staggered terms passed uh, for the county, so we drew the four-year straw, so it won't be any change for Area 1, but all the even-numbered uh, districts, Elmberg and, and so on, they all drew the two-year slot. So it will be a staggered terms from now on. I think it's probably a positive thing. We've talked about that, and I'm glad that people uh, supported that. The term limit issue, I'm not sure about yet. Uh, that's, that may come up again. Um, County budget's in good shape, as you know. Uh, we were able to lower the rate to $5.88, which is also the rate that goes to Rouse's Point. Um, the uh, essential air service, you've probably been reading about it in the paper. Uh, we did uh, tentatively agree to put in a new air carrier, Kogan Air. Uh, three flights a day to Boston, and they co-share with uh, US Air, Continental, United, and Air Canada. So you'll actually be able to, at the end of uh, February book flights right out of Plattsburgh to almost anywhere. And uh, this is a, a 37 passenger uh, vehicle. One of the reasons, the vote was six to four, and one of the reasons that I voted yes was because I was thinking after George, you and I have attended those Pfizer meetings, and uh, just thinking about people coming into the area being concerned about, you know, the introduction to the area and having to ride on an eight passenger plane with one pilot and no bathroom and so on versus coming in in an actual aircraft. And I think it does make a big difference. And I, I heard from the, uh, the uh, CDPH and they said that they felt it was a positive too, uh, bringing in prospective doctors to the area to bring them in that way on a, on a regular aircraft and so on. So I'm very pleased with that, with that uh, decision and hopefully, uh, I don't know, again, uh, if any of you have been down there, it's uh, Plattsburgh Airport is uh, quite an impressive place. And, uh, you know, we're, we continue to grow and we're picking up a million dollars extra a year uh, because we passed the 70,000 uh, employment. So we're very pleased with that. The state budget, uh, George, I'm sure you know all this, but it is going to affect the county. Uh, we're looking at cuts right now in probation, real property and uh, social services. That is between now and the end of March. And of course the county budget runs calendar year and the state budget runs in the uh, you know, April through March. So nine months of the new state budget will affect the county coffers. So I, you know, if I'm sitting here next year saying we lower the tax rate again, uh, it will be a miracle. But in any event, uh, we we hope, I mean, our, our basic philosophy has been one of maintaining services, and we're going to continue to do that. And, uh, you know, we, we did not institute a freeze, a hiring freeze or a wage freeze, but we kept the figures very low, and we hope to be able to maintain it. Mike Zerlo is, as you know, a fantastic county administrator, and, and uh, that leads me to the next item, which is we saved uh, over $400,000 this year on health insurance. And uh, we got ourselves a, 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 another carrier. It's a very controversial issue because people are very married to their own health insurance plan and so on. But uh, if the village is interested, the Burnham Associates uh, out of uh, uh, Lake Placid 
can uh, provide some options. It certainly was something that worked well for us. The, the employees still had a choice of either plan, but it saved uh, over $400,000. Now, you know, we have 800 employees, so, you know, obviously that those kinds of savings are not going to be indicative for villages, but I, I pitched this to the town and the town of Champlain, and I'm off to Moore's next week, and, uh, you know, it, it, it certainly is something, I think, that if you wanted to set in motion a committee or somebody at least to take a look at it, Burnham would be happy to come and make a presentation and you could take a look at it and see if there's savings to be We already use a pack for the last three years. Okay, so there's no savings there at all. No, we're so they, they saved us money this year. We're switching our health insurance. You, you switch it again? Are you to which one? You know? Um, it's a blue. Okay, one of the blues. All right. Well, in any event, uh, you we're guys fit fifty thousand dollars. That leads me to the next thing, which is George Rivers is also ahead on, which is the issue of Homeland Security money. So we did have a meeting, George. I don't know whether you announced it here, but uh, uh, and uh, there are Homeland Security's money, monies to, to uh, uh, protect uh, the water and sewer and, and the plant operations. And uh, George was initiated that, and, and certainly uh, we were able to get the sheriff up here and hold a meeting, and I think that's going to bear some fruit. I don't want, if you're going to talk about it later, George, I won't say any more, but, you know, it's, uh, whether it's fencing and or, uh, you know, uh, TV monitoring and coordinating it with the county and so on, it's just a fantastic program they've done up in Northeast Clinton, and anybody along the border is eligible, Village of Champlain also came to the meeting, so we could call it a shared services meeting, which of course is, is beneficial too, uh, just to use that particular title. Uh, the last thing I have uh, deals with the issue of, uh, you know, the plant closings. Uh, you were at the meeting, George, too. I thought it was encouraging to find out that they were only going to, uh, that they were going to continue to market the building beyond 31st when we first went to the meeting. December 31st appeared to be the cutoff uh, in Shay Z, and now they're going to go at least another couple of months beyond that. And of course, the Rouse's Point uh, area should be. Uh, at least through 2010, and we heard that, and that, that is decent news. The bottom line is that if they continue to market them with people in them, I think they, and I think Pfizer finally got the message in terms of how much it would benefit them. I think initially they may have thought, well, we'll do what we can, come in, close it, and that's the end of it. Well, uh, there was a marketing strategy put together by the Chamber of Commerce which was extremely impressive, and I think that uh, I think we've got a shot, but as Gary Douglas said, pulling another Acromax out of a hat is not going to be an easy thing. So hopefully uh, we're continuing to work on that. So again, um, I have, uh, you know, I'm in the book. You guys know my number. If there's any questions, George calls me every once in a while. If there's anything I can do for you guys, you let me know. I'm always available. Okay? Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Gary. Uh, we're going to sit down and talk about the consolidation bill. Okay. Uh, you're going to probably raise your hair when you hear what It's you're unlikely, saying. George. I, Not I, I just, it's unlikely. It yeah. takes an awful lot to get me to. But well, uh, you, you tell me when and where, and I'll be there. So. Okay. Have you uh, heard anything more about the tax program? Yes. It's not. It's the, only, the only problem with the tax program is at the county level. It's not going to affect the villages or the towns or the schools at all. You guys will still be on the line. But unfortunately, the merger of the county programs with this new firm, they haven't been able to work that out. I don't think that part is going to happen. So, but in turn, I asked that exact question with you in mind, Arsene, actually, at the last meeting with Joe Giroux, and that was the answer he gave. There'd be no effect on the buildings at all. All the training would still. Uh, but I don't think anybody else is going to convert. What's that? I said I don't think anybody else is going to convert. If the county doesn't? Yeah. Well, I, so the villages where you're used to guinea pigs. I will take that message back. Um, all I can say is that um, well, it screws up. It screws up the history. I'm, you know, I'm not too happy about it. I, I I tried to convey to them that you know the villages were concerned, especially since they were out there first and so on, and went through all the work and so on. But Joe assured me that there would be absolutely no interruption and no problem with the villages. The only problem was at the county level. But they were, supposed would, to take, they were supposed to take credit cards and everything? I know that. I know. I know. And the pass-through is not going to work well for the county. But I'm not sure whether, you know, I didn't ask the specific question about whether or not 
you, you could take cards and it could be used at the at the village level to pay uh, for services or not. I don't know the answer to that question, but uh, I don't know how it happened there. So I can't I can't answer the question. So, and I should keep out for that. Well, it, it it's certainly something that it, it's it's something that people ask those exact questions when we met originally and were sure there were no problems and obviously there were and you know I I don't know specifically uh, if other have you been able to talk to any of the and, and I, don't, I, don't, I don't mean to put you on the spot no no I don't understand that's alright I, 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 I know they were supposed to have a meeting that canceled because it's really passed away yeah, yeah. Yes. I know I talked to Bernie Bassett yeah. they're, 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 if not if they haven't already uh, they haven't changed, they're not going to. Yeah. They were never going to, though. Yeah. The, the, and the I town think, of Plattsburgh was the mm -hmm. one group I, that was never I there. think our treasurer would like to go back the way we were because that one program took care of all of our needs, yeah. not uh, just tax. And we had good support. The only other question that I did ask them was that was relative to the issue of is it still going to be the local choice in terms of what they wanted to do? And the answer to that question from Joe Drew now was yes. So if that is what you guys want to do, I don't see that as being, because I did specifically ask that question too. But, you know, I think uh, Joe said he was going to hold a meeting, so obviously with his brother passing, has that been rescheduled or? Not to my knowledge. Okay. Not as of yet. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll, I'll make another phone call on that, just, just to be sure where we are on that issue and so on. But, um, you know, <laughs> I mean, the town The town called me and I told yeah. them, to, don't convert. Told them not to convert. That's what you told the town. I told the town not to convert. Yeah. Let me see where Joe is on the issue, okay? And, and see if, if, I mean, if it's going to be a detriment to the village, obviously, you should have and, and if it's going to affect the fact that people would come in and pay their, their village, town, and county bills and now can't do that, can only pay two out of three, it is, it's real messed up. I, 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 I agree with you completely. I just feel bad then for all the training that your people went through that, you know, that, that may go to naught. I mean, that's, that's the only other thing. I, I think what has to happen is that Joe needs to sit down with all the, the principals and just go over your specific questions and so on. I'll see if I can find anything out for you. Thanks, Harry. Okay. Anybody else? If not, you'll have a chance at the end of the meeting. Well, minutes of the previous meeting of December 7th. We'll have copies, points, any additions or deletions. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes of the previous meeting of December 7th, 2009. Second. Moved by Trustee Jefferson, seconded by Trustee Baker. Any discussion? There being no discussion, all those in favor vote by your sign of aye. 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 Those opposed, vote for carry. Uh, bills. You all have copies of the bills. Is there any no additions, or additions or deletions? Can I make a motion to pay the bills Thank today? You. I'll second that. Moved by uh, Trustee Jefferson, seconded by Trustee Cooper. Any discussion? There's no discussion. All those in favor of open meeting, sign of aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carried. Okay, correspondence. The first uh, letter I have is to the mayor and board of trustees. Please accept this notice as my resignation as a village trustee effective December 31st, 2009. On January 1st, I will be sworn in as a town of Champlain council person. It has been a pleasure serving on the village board. That's from John Cooper. I'll make a motion to accept the re letter of resignation with deep regret. What a pleasure to work with you, John. Thank you. Second. Moved by Trustee Jefferson, seconded by Trustee Baker. Any discussion? John, I personally want to thank you. You've been an excellent board member. Don't get rid of me, George. I know. Just go over. Well, we can't talk to you if you're on the time. Yeah. Can right? <laughs> <laughs> we talk to him if he's on the time? Uh, we yeah. could. Oh, yeah, we can. We'll make it. If you come back. Shared services. All those in favor, vote by your son of mine. All right. All right. Those are all the most carried. 
Okay, the next letter I have uh, is on behalf of Notre Mar, I would like to submit a request to reserve the Civic Center from July 7th until July 30th of 2010. During this time, the Civic Center will be used as a venue for a summer arts program featuring programs for children and the return of Becca Dance. This program will be called Summer Arts Brazos Point. Uh, Notre Mar will be inviting established and respected artists, painters, musicians, and choreographers to be in residence in Brazos Point for the duration of the program. These artists will be instructors in a summer arts program for children. Details of this diverse program will include lessons in chess and tennis are still being developed. Mainly the potential of this summer arts program rests on whether an adequate venue can be secured. The Civic Center will be transformed into an active and creative center. Um, it is our intention to collaborate as we have in the past with local groups to present Summer Arts Rosas Point. While we have yet to solidify our collaborators in this exciting program, we hope to invite as many local groups as possible, making the program a true community event. Nurture Mar for collaborative projects in the arts in Rosas Point single nonprofit <coughs> arts organization. It is our intention to fund this arts program in part from grants and individual donations. However, because this program will be a free program for area residents, it is our hope that we may look to partner with the village of Rosas Point. And as you may know, Norton Mar has for the past six years been actively promoting and encouraging the arts in Rosas Point. We feel that summer arts Rosas Point will continue to bring vitality and excitement to our village and we look forward to your continued support. And this came from Jason Andrew, the director. The board's going to have some discussion on that. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. You need a second. Oh, second. Sorry. You made that motion. <laughs> oh, sorry. Motion by myself, seconded by uh, Trustee Jefferson. Is there any discussion? You said for one month, man? One month. Okay, the next item I have is Dear Mayor and Trustees, we wish to inform you of a new member who has been approved to our company for a probationary period of six months. This prospective member is a member with restrictions under the age of 18. It's a Camille Peich, I believe, P-I-C-H-E, from Rosas Point. And please act on this member, and we thank you for your time in this matters from Dennis Roberts. From Montgomery Hills with the letter. I'll make a motion to accept the new condition. Do you call it conditional or how does it? How yeah. with, with, with restrictions. With conditions. Um, with restrictions. Uh, 17, I think, because he's under 18. Yeah. yeah, they have a. Uh, it's like a junior program. Like, oh, really? Yeah, they did that for a while. It's quite well. Started with the one in the top, boys did it. Yeah. Six to six, they started 16 and they, they yeah. can't vote they can't fight any fires. Oh, okay. And they vote training. So, okay, yeah, they, they groom them, they, they yeah. hopefully go into the fire department. Yeah. At 18, they go in. I've never heard of that. Yeah, we've had it for a while. Mm -hmm. I have a motion? I'll make that motion. Sorry. Moved by Trustee Jefferson, second by Trustee Burns. Any discussion? There being no discussion, all those in favor of the motion, all right. Aye. Those opposed, <coughs> motion carried. That's all I have. Uh, thank you, Carol. Uh, the report of the mayor and the board of trustees. Uh, the first thing on my agenda tonight is that I would like to make an appointment, and the appointment is I would like to appoint Dennis Roberts to fill the um, expected term of the third, Trustee Cooper. Okay, I'll second that motion. Welcome, Dennis, to the board. And that will be effective January 1. Effective January 1. January 1. Moved by myself, seconded by uh, Trustee Jefferson. Any discussion? There being no discussion, all those in favor, vote by mutual sign of aye. Aye. Those right. opposed, motion carried. Congratulations, Dennis. Thank you, congratulations. Welcome. Well, welcome, welcome to the barrel. <laughs> Uh, second thing on my agenda is 
I appoint John Cooper as an alternate to the planning board, effective January 1. Second. Welcome, John. <laughs> Welcome back, Bob. <laughs> oh, no, that's good. Is there any other discussion? Motion by myself, seconded by Trustee Jefferson. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carried. And the last thing on my agenda is a request of authorization to enter an agreement with the New York State Department of Transportation on the construction project at the border. This is 9B, where they're going to widen the road and stuff. Uh, Mr. Pelkey got a lot of work to do down there. <laughs> and this uh, project is going to be let in March. The and construction starts for April. Then we're in the building, sir? No, but it's in our hand drive system for electricity. And that was no all the things that we're We're getting paid, by the way. Or the DOT paid? is paying us to do all the work. Yep. Yeah. Going on the ground, though? Yeah, on the ground. Everything, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. excellent. Yeah, it's too narrow, that road. It's yeah, all it blocked now. off. It looks terrible. So made a motion to order now? I made a motion. I'll second it. Moved by myself, seconded by uh, Trustee Cooper. Any uh, discussion? There being no discussion, all those in favor of vote by the user kind of aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carried. Uh, that's it for me. Uh, Trustee Jefferson. Yes, thank you, Mayor Rivers. Uh, a couple items on my agenda tonight. The uh, first item is the certificate of completion for the grade A slash B operator's course of Daniel Gay. For information only. Uh, that's the first item. Uh, the second item on my agenda is the registration for the fourth year line worker apprentice program. And that will be for Eric Miller. And that is going to be has to be submitted. The deadline for this is January 25th, 2010. So I'll put that in form of a motion. Second. Moved by Trustee Jefferson, seconded by Trustee Burt. Any discussion? This is his last year. Yes. When he finishes, he'll be certified. Yep. Uh, no discussion. All those in favor of vote by your sign of aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carried. Okay. The uh, third item on my agenda is the registration for the line worker safety training. And that is going to be for Eric Miller, Jason Juno, and Dan McCollum. I'll put that in form of a motion. Moved by Trustee Jefferson, seconded by Trustee Baker. Any discussion? There being no discussion, all those in favor of vote by the user said aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. And I just have one more quick item on my agenda tonight. It's come to the attention of the village board that we have a problem with people dumping garbage on the south side of the road going down to the breakwater. Now, it's in the town of Champlain, but there is an access for the water to go underneath the culvert and back into Lake Champlain. There is computers, there is televisions, there's tires, there's antifreeze, there's all kinds of junk that is being thrown into the swamp. Now, that has an effect on the water in Rouse's Point. It's the water our children drink, our grandchildren drink, and we drink. And it's very important that we address this as quickly as we can. So we're going to send a letter to the town of Champlain to let them know there's a problem, asking them to put signs up. I've already spoken with the police department and let them know that it's just outside of the village of Rouse's Point, but it does affect the residents, so we'd like them once or twice a shift to take a ride down to the breakwater, and if they encounter somebody down there with throwing stuff in to the swamp, they would call the state police or call the county, and they would write the tickets. So, uh, as you can see with the new budget that's coming up, there's been a bunch of money allocated for the cleanliness of Lake Champlain, and it's it's critical to the area that we take care of the lake. So uh, we're going to go ahead and send a letter to the town of Champlain, and that's all I have to report to him. Thank you, Trustee Jefferson. Okay, Trustee Burtz. 
Uh, I'd like to request an executive session to discuss the uh, road personnel matter. Second. Uh, moved by Trustee Burks, seconded by Trustee Jefferson. Roll call vote, Trustee Jefferson. Aye. Trustee Burks. Aye. Trustee Baker. Aye. Trustee Cooper. Aye. And the mayor votes aye. Thank you. 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 I'd like to discuss one other thing, but I don't know if we can do it at this meeting or I'd like to make the board aware that um, in the discussion I had with Donna Racine, our village uh, historian, there's been a request, um, if I don't get this right completely, Donna, please stand and correct me. Uh, at, from time to time, there, there come people approach her to put uh, historical markers up. Um, which she's in agreement with, but not always uh, would like to be able to review the uh, what's written on the markers for accuracy. Historical accuracy. Historical accuracy. So uh, maybe it's something that we should just be um, made aware of and we can uh, get more details from Donna as I sit with her. Uh, it may take precedence, if, uh, especially if we're putting markers up and people come to her or request from her uh, different uh, markers to be placed in the future, you know, especially with the railroad station that's being done there, to make sure that maybe she gets a chance to look at it before the fine print goes on, you know, to make sure they're historically correct. Maybe we can uh, get together, or I and another trustee can get together and talk with Donna. Uh, and maybe somehow make sure there's some <coughs> written matter that uh, we can address. Excuse me, Don. I just want to bring that to the board for us. Right. That's all I have. Thank you, Trustee Burke. Trustee Baker. Oh, oh, thank you, Trustee Baker. Trustee Cooper, this yeah. is your last shot, buddy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Request an executive uh, session to discuss the contract in the OG. Second. Moved by Trustee Cooper, seconded by Trustee Jefferson. Roll call vote. Uh, Trustee Jefferson. Aye. Trustee Burks. Aye. Trustee Baker. Aye. Trustee Cooper. Aye. And they are aye. That's it. That's no, it. you have that resolution. Sorry, the resolution. Uh, I didn't get that letter. So. The side letter of understanding is the resolution that we. I know you had it today, John. I look for it, but I can get it. It's customary to give a speech to your last meeting. <laughs> brief, brief speech. Very sure. Thank you. Oh, I don't have it. Mm. Wow, well, here it is right here, and I know we've all had it. Yeah. At one time. Oh, no, I didn't. Do it to oh, yeah, yeah, okay. That's in my, no, I got it here. Trustee Cooper, seconded by uh, Trustee Jefferson. Any discussion? There being no discussion, all in favor of vote by you to sign the line. Aye. Aye. No <laughs> opposed? Motion carried. Okay. 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 Madam Clerk, do you have any words of wisdom tonight? No. No? How about our set? Just like to wish everybody Merry Christmas and Happy oh, yeah, New Year. Merry Christmas Happy New Year. <laughs> How about our attorney? Merry Christmas to everyone. Thank you. Brian? Just an update. <clears throat> Excuse me, on the project. Uh, electric department's been working on Rose Avenue. It's totally cleaned up. All the wires are down. Poles are still standing. They're going to stand until cable TV comes and gets their wires off. Uh, State Street is completely, all, all our wires are off. And there's going to work on Academy Street tomorrow. And we're making progress with the 24-inch uh, storm drain that's going up along the school. 
I mean, we're still able to work, and we found a lot of uh, a lot of problems. And uh, the fight that the guys are putting in, they're doing an excellent job. We're doing it right. I mean, excellent. Uh, other than that, we're working on the budget. So, if anyone has any items for the budget, for the worksheets that you want to get with me and just talk about different projects. Uh, Roads that you're thinking about need paving. I'll get them measured, get some prices. And I already talked to the mayor. We talked this morning in our uh, in our little meeting about a couple of roads that we're looking at going that need it. But the only other thing that I'd like to bring up is uh, I'd like to have the village board think about getting into the old water tower. It's been there long enough. I don't know if you have to budget something for that, or you know, maybe have Doug work on a plan. We need to do something with that tower. It's an eyesore, and it's to this point where it's going to be a liability issue. Oh yeah. Oh, be nice to get rid of it. Oh no. Just a thought. I'd like to ask you a question too. Yes. I'd just like to ask you a question how you feel about the Holland and everything turned out. Oh, Pretty yeah. happy about that? Oh, yeah. Very happy. Good. <laughs> yeah. Like Merry Christmas. Yeah. yeah, it was a good Christmas present to all of us. Yeah. yeah. It, was, uh, it was a lot of stress. I mean, like the mayor said in the paper, I mean, it, it did take a toll on everybody. You know, you're worried about, you know, if somebody was going to come after you personally or, you know. I'm well, glad it's over with. And, and everything we did, I wouldn't change. Oh, no, we handled it right. I cost think everything of, we did, we did the right way. It cost the village a lot of money. It makes you realize that when you're on the village board, you, you know, or, or work for the village, that you can be sued at any time. Oh, yeah. You know, how do you get people to do stuff if you're saying, oh, I'm going to sue, and I'm going to sue? And That's why it's so hard to be volunteers. I mean, you know, like the... Uh, Ask Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Thank you. That's good news, though, Brian. That's all I have, and I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. I open the meeting to the public at this time. You want to listen to me again? A couple of things that came out of our meeting tonight. I don't think I need an answer tonight, but at least think about it. Uh, we were asked if there's a residency requirement for being on the planning board. Stay well. You must be a resident of the Ross Point. Okay. And they also asked about the attendance requirement, and there is. You have to attend 70. I don't know about that. Yeah, in our, in our book it does. You have to attend, I think, 75% of the meetings. Um, they also asked about uh, the last two applications that um, were uh, dismissed and want to know about refunding the fees that these people had paid. And it doesn't pertain to both of them because one of them didn't pay. <laughs> So, you know, I don't need an answer tonight. I just, you know, wanted to share that with you. Um, they also asked about putting the draft minutes in the agenda on the website, so I'll be doing that with our staff from now on. Once I get it typed up, I'll send them to you. Because they think he puts village board minutes on. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we'll do the same thing. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. All right. Nobody else? We need a motion for recess. Um, recess. Our second. Moved and seconded. All in favor? All right. Those opposed? It's. I think so. Eight. Four. 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 Have a happy New Year, sir. Merry Christmas. Watch yourself on the ice. Thank you. Many of them. You're going to like it on the board. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>